Should we do an intro? Should we even do an intro for this? I don't know. I'm gonna say no. Hi everybody, what's going Hi, on? Hi everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the intro? No. I'm going to say no intro, no intro song or nothing. Let's just do it. Hello and welcome to Rassle Rock's Rasselmania Backlash Review. Oh, God. Uh, it's too many words. <laughs> it is. Too yeah, many words, right. man. Just back many... Backlash, man. Come on. Drew McIntyre has a, a WWE Championship match at Rasselmania. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. Yeah. You think you you think they did the numbers that WrestleMania did? <laughs> oh no! I mean, well, let's get into it, man. Uh, let's just jump right in. Let's not beat around the bush. We'll just go over this match by match. Uh, there was a match on the on the kickoff show. Uh, Jameson, was... Jameson, uh, what's his face? Ricochet. Hum- Humberto. Oh, I thought it was Humberto. I thought it was not. This is why you should have watched the pay per view. <laughs> So uh, we're we're gonna see if we can implement this uh, this point system. What would you give this for, uh, for a for a one to four? Uh, one being Stone Cold Steve Austin and four being Ric Flair, which doesn't make sense when you put it on paper. Or it's a, you know. No, no, it doesn't. I'm gonna give it because it's Ricochet, and I'm already gonna be disappointed. I know because he's gonna lose again tonight. Uh, I'm gonna give it two. I'm definitely giving it two stars. I mean, it was good seeing that mainly because it was good seeing Ricochet on television. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what did we say two was? I don't know. Iconics, I think. Iconics. That's right. Iconic. Is one good or one bad? No, bad. one is one is bad. Oh, because we'll because do four. We'll one. do like one. <laughs> oh, oh, I now see. Yes, because it's Stone Cold Steve Austin. You see, uh-huh. four. Uh-huh. and then Ric Flair is four. Ah, mm. get it? Ah, <laughs> mm. I didn't see the match, obviously, obviously but uh, I'm going to say I like both of these men, so I'm going to go ahead and say that it's a three. <laughs> I'm also going to go with a three only because you, you, you could have gone a different way than just, I'm going to steal your hat and jacket, and that's how we're going to continue the feud. It could have gone, you know, there's, there's different ways to embarrass a heel champion. Uh, so that's the, literally the only reason because the match was solid, had a solid finish and everything, and it's great to see Ricochet back on. So, yeah, well, our opener match of the actual show was uh, Rhea Ripley versus Oscar versus versus uh, Charlotte Flair. Um, another solid match, I think. This is um, I thought this was really good. Uh, finish was a little wonky. Uh, I thought uh, only because uh, I was gonna yeah. say I thought Oscar carried the match. I thought she did a great job being basically the middleman in that match, basically mm-hmm. trying to tie the other two together. I don't know about you guys, but I am tired of Charlotte Flair's moonsault that she does to the outside of the ring. That looks it's, like one day. It's pointless. It's never led to a victory. Uh, it doesn't never hurts anybody. It's it's there's no point to it. Not only that, the way she lands, she went lands so stiff on her feet when she comes down. I'm just waiting for a knee to blow or her ankle. Yeah. yeah. Like I, I, I really think she needs to move away from that move. Maybe just do a dive through the ropes or something. But uh, I, she's got to stay. That move scares the hell out of me every time I see it because she just over rotates as soon as she hits the air. It's, yeah. it's really scary. It's called a figure ache. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna give this match a two. Oh, uh, it's, it, again, because the finish, and I'm not a big fan of Charlotte. Um, she could have done way better in this match, I think. But Rhea Ripley, I think, is great. Asuka is definitely uh, the the top of the women's division. If you ask so me. What is this? Can someone tell me what this is? Are we are we six? <laughs> <laughs> What do you guys think? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's the FTR two. Say yeah. Honestly, it would be a three if not for that finish. Because I really think I think the move I think the the match pacing wise moved very well. Mm-hmm. I think the girls did a great job. And like I said, Ripley was there, but when you have Oscar and Charlotte in the match, as much as I can't stand Charlotte, she's she's damn good. Mm-hmm. And um but that finish was just garbage. Up until then it was great, so I'm giving it two also. Say yeah. yeah, twos across the board. Uh, not great, but so overall six. Can we? <laughs> <laughs> six all 
That's what we got. But uh, the next match we got up was the SmackDown Tag Team Titles match. Uh, I really like this. We had the, the Dirty Dogs versus the Mysterios. Um, I like to say it's an old storyline. It's 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 been done a lot, mm-hmm. uh, where you beat up one guy in the back and the other guy has to go out and you know win the. He's gonna do a, a handicap match and he's gonna do it. But I, I really you know. Dominic was like, oh, I'm sorry, Dad, I can't do it. And then Mercedes was like, I got this, son. I'm going to win it for us. Uh, I liked everybody in this match. I thought it was done really well. Um, I have not a whole lot as far as criticisms. I think it's combined something you've never seen before with something you've seen a million times before. When he holds his stomach and just, like, crumples to the ground, he's it. He's just so good at everything he does. Dude, that that that's that baseball slide super kick thing to the outside. Dude, he does that, he does that baseball. Then he does that baseball slide sunset flip. That's beautiful. <laughs> but, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna. Uh, I never said my my number, so I'm gonna say that's a four on that one. I think it I think it uh, hit Dominic's weaknesses by having him beaten up and just let the let the three really good wrestlers go at it in the ring. There's all three of those guys, Bobby, Ziggler. They're, they're all really good guys, like wrestlers. Really, solid. it was a good match. Really well done. Uh, and I like, I like how they teased it at the end when Dominic came in and Bobby Roode just spine busted him right. Like they made it look like this was all for nothing. And I thought that was a really good twist right, right when he came in. Yeah. Uh, great match, and it was, it was really sweet to see like how happy Ray was at the end when he was. You know, had his, it, God is good. Had his head on his gun. It was, dude. It was, it was a feel-good moment. His head uh, on his uh, shoulder, yeah. just walking up the ramp. And we don't get a lot of that in wrestling anymore. So I, I was really happy with that. Sure. Man. That's a four for you as well, Mark. Oh, definitely, definitely a four I'll for me. I, 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 yeah, definitely, dude. That was such a great match. I, I didn't, I didn't anticipate anything out of it. I thought it was going to be like a five-minute. Why is this even on television type match? And it ended up being yeah. really, really good, captivating match. I, I liked it. Well, but moving from there on oh, to okay. this uh, absolute, I mean, uh, the zombies, dude. Freaking zombies came up next. Okay, so Dave Batista just trashed WWE on Job and Oscar. Trashed him a few weeks ago on break or a few months ago when he broke up the hurt business. Oh yeah, he's but been really he's... vocal about how bad <laughs> Raw has been. He's right. been very vocal about it. He's then like, he gets, yeah, give then me your money. <laughs> then he gets a zombie movie on Netflix and he's like, "Hey guys, <laughs> I'll do the narrative." How's it going? And straight up, this is no shot at Damian Priest, but man, they are not handling him well. He's no. just, dude. He he played second fiddle to Bad Bunny. He's now he's finally dude now, now yeah. he's finally on his own, and like another big profile match he gets. It's two matches where he had like a horror thing because he wrestled a Halloween Havoc and fell yeah. through a mausoleum <laughs> like, <laughs> to lose. But like it's just this guy's got all like he he is another one of these prototype WWE guys that makes no sense. He's tall. He's got this booming voice. He's really good on the mic. On top of it, good looking guy. He's, he's got all the power. tools. And WWE's just like, yeah, we're gonna make zombie lumberjacks, and you're gonna wrestle the Miz for four months. How's that? <laughs> well, no, dude. It, what do we have for zero? What do I have for a zero? <laughs> <laughs> we do the rings of Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> Moppy. Yeah. Is there a noise for Moppy? You're welcome, Corey. Same for you. Um, Moppy. You're welcome. I'm gonna give it a one though. Uh, one of the zombies was Joe Gacy. Another one of the zombies was um, Scotty Tuhati. Mm, what? I did not yeah. know that. One of those zombies was Scotty Tuhati. So Scotty Tuhati made it on uh, to a WWE pay-per-view, and I'm very excited about that. <laughs> so excited that I'll give him a middle finger. I'll give him a middle finger right, right up that, his butt. That much excitement. We moved on to a pretty solid match after that, though. We had Bianca Belair versus Bailey for the uh, SmackDown Women's title. I thought uh, um, I thought this was pretty solid. Um, Bailey's character is weird and just continues to laugh at at Bianca Belair. Um, I don't know what's what's going on with that, but uh, I, I, yeah, the match was solid. Uh, there's not too much I can say about it. Gotta get, I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a three. Ready? 
Unfortunately for me, I only, because I got super busy for that match. Uh, when I finally got to look at the TV, I saw the pin with the hair, and then she kind of slightly botched the pin. So I'm not going to score on this one. I'm not going to... Stuff's falling me on me. I'm not going to score on this one. Cody, I'm going to go... I'm going to go... Uh, well, honestly, I, I like, I really enjoy both of these women. Uh, both their talents are amazing. Um, the, 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 um, the, there was some awkwardness, some honky, wonky. What's the word? The, what's the herky jerky? No, no. <laughs> wonky, wonky, herky jerkiness in there. Um, wonky. so yes, wonk, wonky, not honky, wonky. <laughs> I'm going to have to say, <laughs> I'm going to have to say, uh, a FTR. Say yeah. Um, herky yeah, they, jerky. It's, herky it's jerky. Surprise roll up. The herky jerky surprise roll up. Um, <laughs> you know, but it, it was a, with a like nice little twist. I don't know. I thought it was good. We're moving on to a crazy match. From there, Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre versus Braun Strowman. Um, this was nuts right off the bat. I, I, I thought I was going to absolutely hate this match, and they more than uh, exceeded my expectations. Uh, I'm giving them I'm giving this a flare. <laughs> you can't see me flare. He hasn't looked like this since he was beating up Roman Reigns. Like the, the I'm not finished with you and like he he was moving well. He did he almost broke his neck a couple times, like on some moves. Uh but he just looked great. And then you know, you throw Drew and Bobby into the mix and uh I I like that they showed that Bobby there's no way Bobby could get the, the hurt lock on on uh Braun Strowman, so he had to spear him. <laughs> one of the best, one of the best big man ma matches I've seen in a long time. Uh, mm. I think everybody did a great job. Uh, I'm done with the LED board, so I'm kind of done with them trying to make it look like it's this brutally painful thing when the panels just pop, like yeah. immediately when the guys <laughs> go through them. Uh, and the hats off to Braun Strowman. I thought he did a great job. Definitely. What's, what, Definitely. what's your what's your score on there? Well, I'm gonna do wait. Where's my camera? I'm gonna do four of them. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, not score this one because I fast forwarded right through it to watch the Roman Reigns uh, match. What? Jerk. Uh -huh. Jerk. He big, was the killer match. Big butthole. This week <laughs> I want you to go out of your way to watch it. I want you to be okay. inconvenienced. I want to be like. I want you to be like I'm. Uh, you have to miss sleep to watch this match. <laughs> I, there's, there has to be like I have to give up. You have to give up an hour of sleep. Pretend this match is daylight savings time. Corey, I definitely recommend you go look at this match. Like it's it's yeah. Okay, my bad, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. You watch the zombies match. <laughs> well, now we got to go on to the uh, the main event. And main this was, event. Uh, yeah, this was the match I was really looking forward to. Uh, my boy Cesaro versus my other boy Roman Reigns. Mm -hmm. I like boy, both yeah. of these guys. Um, <laughs> they they, they your that? boys. They your Roman, boys. They boys. Roman, <laughs> Roman Reigns is your boy now. <laughs> they they <laughs> your boys. He's a tribal chief. Y'all have to bow down. He's a tribal chief. <laughs> this is, I, I think it was the most solid wrestling match uh, that I've seen out of him uh, um, since he's been champion. <laughs> Also, the the highlight video, the build towards this match, was the best one I think I've seen in a really long time. I liked it and didn't like it. It was weird. There was just something. I don't know what it was. It wasn't clicking for me. That's all. Uh, but there were like, I liked that uh, Roman Reigns kind of changed up his game a little bit. He pulled out a Fujiwara armbar and like he showed that he can. He's, he kind of has that John Cena thing where he does what he wants, but when he has to wrestle, he'll pull out a bunch of moves he didn't. I haven't seen it in a while, which I like because it makes his matches different whenever he does it. But um, I think what it was is I think Seth Rollins kind of ruined it for me. Oh, <laughs> Him coming out in his watercolor freaking suit and just screaming. <laughs> ah, 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 you know, when he starts doing that nasally scream and just. <laughs> I'm Seth Rollins. I can go anywhere. <laughs> The one thing I really liked, I, I liked how Cesaro, after he got choked out, woke up like shocked and didn't know where he was. I thought that was really well done. It just mm -hmm. shows you how smart Cesaro is. The commentary I thought was top notch. Mm -hmm. um, it really felt like a real, like like if you if you would have taken that commentary and put it all over like a boxing <laughs> match or a UFC match or something like that, 
It, it was it was that legit. You like, know why? Pat McAfee is way better than I thought he would do on commentary. Yeah, within yeah. weeks, within weeks, he's definitely the best thing they have on on commentary television wise. I think I think I think he's like. I don't really want to. I don't really want to crap on him, but this is going to come across as crapping on him. You can you can smell the douche, like out of <laughs> out of it, out of his out of his mouth. You can smell it. Like the the douche is very. Yeah. You can you can kind of taste it in the air. <laughs> Jesus. He just he, he just like if if uh, if you put a bottle of Jacar Noir on commentary. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> I would have said I would have said as high as you can go, but then I I never like run-ins, and they like a run-in can a match can be the best match ever, but then when there's like interferences and stuff, it blah. It, it, yeah, but it, the interferences didn't happen until after the match was over. Didn't Seth Rollins cost him the match? No, he just beat him up afterwards. He just beat him up. Okay, well, all right. Well. Yeah. Well then, I'm gonna just say it's five then. No, <laughs> <laughs> no four. Ric Flair. Four. I'm gonna go with three. I just started losing interest while I was watching the match, and I, I like I don't know what it is. I know you guys have more invested because you guys are actually friends with Cesaro. Uh, I, I just didn't think he had enough time because there was more about Daniel Bryan until they finally put Daniel Bryan out. And that was backlash, ladies and gentlemen. Um, overall, what did you guys think as a pay-per-view? I'm gonna say it was. I mean, I think there was like uh, the zombie thing takes the whole thing down. Yeah, <laughs> it really does. The zombie thing takes the whole entire card down. But I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna have to say three. Brandy! I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with three myself. Brandy! And it's the same thing. Like you had. Like I said, the, the Bobby Lashley match, great. Rey Mysterio killed it. And like you said, Cesaro and, and Roman Reigns, really good match. And then you had the zombies. And then you had that terrible finish with the, the Asuka match. Like, it was like two really low points kind of ruined a pay-per-view. None of us expected to even be good. And it was actually, you eliminate those two out and throw in two other filler matches, I think it would have been a really good pay-per-view. So yeah, backlash overall getting a three from uh, across the board from all of us. Brandy! Another thing is we have a uh, Hell in a Cell now coming up. Is it not WrestleMania Hell in a Cell? It might be. Who knows? <laughs> well, it'll be WrestleMania backlash Hell in a Cell. It'll be. It'll be. The, <laughs> it'll be. The, it. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be like I'm going to a picnic and I'm bringing with me and apples and bananas and <laughs> carrots and yeah. <laughs> so there you go, man. That's our backlash review. Yay! Thank you, everybody. <laughs> and that'll about do it. That about do it for this whole entire review. Um, should we take it out like we always do? Oh, wait, one Mr. thing, one thing, guys. Oh, rest in peace, New Jack. Oh uh, yeah, that too. Mm -hmm. Way to kill the show, Mark. <laughs> what? <laughs> way, to, way to bring us all down. Pay mm -hmm. next. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. no, it's, very, it's very sad what happened to him. Uh, how, how, how old was he? 63, I believe? <laughs> no. <laughs> he was like 58. No, he was like 58. I don't know. <laughs> I heard 63. Maybe he was born in 63. Maybe that's Didn't he punch Nick Burke? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Now... Now that we brought him up, we can definitely take it out like we always do. With, with Mr. Mr. Punch in the Face Nick Berg! <laughs> to say goodbye to Join us again for another episode of Rassle Rock. This has been Jay Davis speaking.